isn't it, with the world of Harry and Meghan as ever, seemingly, they like to pretend that they can betray themselves as everyday people, you know, kindly donating to those worthy causes that matter to them, setting up their charitable foundation. And then, of course, we saw Prince Harry recently, didn't we? You know, sat on those chat shows showing what a fun guy he's now become ever since departing the British monarchy. A lot of it, though, doesn't really wash, does it, you know? You can see, really, I believe, at least, that he seems really unhappy at certain points and not exactly contented with his life's lot. Interesting to note. But now over in America, it seems, there's been the worst attack ever on their, shall we say, personalities, the fun ones that we're all supposed to really fall in love with. As ever, though, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. The door behind me really has a fascinating world connection because it's one that really is connected to the British monarchy. We owe this man quite a lot, particularly in our darkest hours. Lionel Logue, that's right. You will have seen his story put on in the King's Speech, both on the West End stage and on in that marvellous film as well, which really is just never worth never seeing again, is it? It's just brilliant, you know. Always captivated by the imagery and exactly just what the late and beautiful beautiful Queen Mother did to make sure that she got the King through his darkest hours and our darkest hours. So there's a beautiful plaque here in memory of that wonderful gentleman that managed to be able to get that stammer, that stutter from the King in order for him to address his subjects during the Second World War. As I say, we owe him so much. All of this history is free as you trot around London. Back as ever, though, to your breaking royal story of the day. This story, again, you know, is just strange, isn't it? Because this all really centres upon this recent cartoon which aired over in the United States two nights ago now. Uh, basically, South Park has come back with a bang and they decided to take aim at Harry and Meghan, particularly in their quest for privacy. You know, the privacy that they quested so much that they decided to move halfway around the world, first to Canada with rumours of South Africa and then settle it in California, of course. What's interesting here, though, to note, and I find fascinating, is that, yes, it's a little bit cruel, it's a bit tongue-in-cheek, but really, is it any worse than what, you know, Jeremy Clarkson wrote? That is, of course, the British columnist who cited that he'd like to see Meghan Markle paraded up and down the high street. You know that story now. Now, this particular cartoon has apparently angered not necessarily Meghan Markle, I have to point out, but her rather, shall we say, hot-headed husband, Prince Harry. And according to a very good source, it appears that Prince Harry is looking into the legalities, and as ever, we have to say allegedly. This really all centres upon the fact that he didn't mind some of the jokes, but the way they're portrayed as vacuous, empty-headed people that seemingly are touring the world while promoting his book, all the while trying to get people interested in his book in their quest for privacy. It's a really funny skit. Now, what I would suggest, and I'm sure very close advisors to Harry and Meghan have already done this, is to simply let it go, because the bottom line is it shows them in a fun light. If you decide to get legal and make more of a big issue of it, then people will think simply that you have no sense of humour and simply can't laugh at yourself. But we've seen this really, haven't we, time and time again with Harry and Meghan. They get very upset over the slightest thing, things that wouldn't necessarily bother other people, but seemingly, of course, in their quest for perfection and, of course, basically putting their own narrative together, then they want to stamp out anyone who doesn't agree with that. South Park's been going for years, it's been made by Comedy Central, and of course they're saying that it's impossible for them to become legal simply because it's a skit, it's fun. It's not aimed at anything in particular, it's basically looking at the world that we live in right now, and more importantly of course, judging the mood of the rest of the world looking at Harry and Meghan. It's going to be interesting to see whether this turns into a full legal case, simply because, as one could imagine, both Harry and Meghan have already got enough battles on their hands with her half-sister Samantha pushing ahead with her case over in Florida, and seemingly so far becoming rather successful. This is a developing story, and as when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean, Harley Street, London.